I reckon if you're about here, and we'll just, yeah, that's cool. Go a little bit this way. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna take a look to see. My name's Derek Henderson, and this is our workshop on how I photograph yeah. Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand for American Vogue. I photographed um, the Prime Minister at Bethel's Beach, um, just out of, out of Auckland on the west coast. Yeah, cool, okay. So, um, Chad, do you wanna, not Chad, yeah, Chad, can you, do you have a little mark you could put down there, yeah? And the reason for that is it's a very beautiful beach. Um, it's accessible. Um, you have to think about those things, you know, obviously if you were trying to get a prime minister on location, you, you know, you don't want to make it too difficult to get there. Um, and so often, you know, I, I went out the day before or a few days before and did a location um, recce. And that's basically working out where I wanted to do maybe four or five pictures of the Prime Minister in the, in the time we had, which was pretty much a cup, two hours. Yeah. We'll set the light up here. I'll give you a hand. Probably they would have been quite happy to just have the photo taken of her in her office in, in the city in Auckland, but you know, you always want to get them out of there and get them somewhere that's a bit more dramatic or, or, or more interesting. So I had that opportunity. And, and they, um, they went for it, so that was a good thing. You know, I shot everything, most of it as a horizontal format, thinking that they were going to use it as a DPS, a double page spread in the magazine. But, you know, it's just allowing for things, you know, so they can crop a little bit or where they want to put words. You're always kind of thinking about that as well. And if it's a double page, obviously, you don't want to put her in the middle of the picture because then she's in the gutter. So this is the camera I used on the day to take Jacinda's photograph. It's a Nikon D850, a really good workhorse camera. And the lens that I used was the 70 to 200 zoom, which I'm just putting on now. I haven't looked at that picture for a while. But I can see I've placed this line of clouds leading into her eyes. So that, I think, naturally leads your eye along the clouds into the face. And the face is the bit that people are, you want to draw attention to. Um, and I can see she's kind of two thirds into the image. You know, it's a classic combination. It's divided into thirds you know there's the third of the ocean then you've got you know in the fort you've got the the line of the horizon and then you've got the landscape taking up another third and then the and the clouds take up another third and then she's in the frame a third of the way in from the from the right hand side it's a classic composition or form she looks beautiful but she also looks like a very intelligent strong woman um, and so for me that's successful because I am I, to be honest I am trying to take a flattering picture it, it's my natural instinct to want to make them look good you know okay so this is the Okta light that I used and this is a softbox RFI uh, five foot pro photo Okta and that was the the softbox that I used to light the Jacinta picture so Chad's just going to put that on the, what do you call these, Chad? I don't know. <laughs> don't know either. That goes on to that, and then we put it up on the boom, we put the weight on the end, then we put the pack on the power pack, and that's the light source. So Chad's just making up the Okta soft box now. Um, I'll grab the head. So this is the pro photo head that fits onto the Okta.
This is a flash head. And as you can see, Chad's got the power pack there. And we'll go through and tell you what that pack is and exactly what this head is. This is the Pro Photo flash head that goes in the Okta into the soft box. This is a reflector that comes with it. This is how it travels. It has a plastic cap on the front to protect the flash unit in here, which is very delicate, so you've got to be very careful with it. You unlock that. Thanks, Chad. Then this just goes in there and you lock it in like so. Um, that's spreading the light more there because it's going in and spreading inside the Okta. That's more on the spot end. I tend to go right into there so it uses the full uh, dimensions of the Okta. Um, and then this head goes on the top of the boom. So Chad's putting on the counterbalance the weight for the boom, which is very important to balance that weight right when you're putting the head on. And then the head just simply fits on there like so. Tighten it up. That goes around there. Then what we do is we do a balance kind of test. We loosen this up and then let it go, Chad, and I'll just balance it up. And you just kind of want to get it so that feels about right to me. That way it's not going to topple over in the wind, we hope. Uh, get it to kind of where I think it's going to probably roughly be. And then we tighten that off. Make sure those are tightened off. And then we can just work out exactly the angle that we're going to turn that. And we can do that by doing it in here. So I'm going to spin the boom. Make sure that's locked off. I'll just have a look. Yeah, that's good. You could even um, just bring it down a bit. The whole thing? No, just tilt it down on that one. Yeah. I like the light to come from slightly from my... Thank you.